First king of the year. Looks like a nice, is it a nice buck or a nice hen? Let me, uh, let me tire him out real, real quick. <laughs> Looks like a good hookup too. Johnny, I think she should be All almost time. ready. Oh, <laughs> I got him. Nice. Yep. Ooh, oh yeah, guys, look at this. Oh, flag. Came right out. Came right out, too. Awesome. First salmon of the year. This is what we came here for, guys. Right here. If you guys look at the gums, this is how you can tell it's a Chinook right here. Look at that. A real nice buck right here. Oh, look at it. It's melting all over. Ugh. <laughs> over the rock. Looks like that one's foul hooked right there. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, right on the top fin. Usually if you wiggle like this, it'll come right off, but... There are just so many of them in there that... You really can't avoid foul hooking them. Guys, technically you guys don't want don't to hold your flat around like this, but... Cause you can actually break break your rod if you hold it like this, but I'm just kind of like bracing it. I'm not actually pulling it back. This is where a lot of people break their rods because they're actually holding it like this, and then they're yanking on it too. But man, this fish is just pure weight right here. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Finally. Watch the game is just gotta put it in front of one that's active. Or piss it off and then and already felt hooked again. There he goes. Oh we got one. This one just nipped right at it too. This one nipped right at. There he goes. This one just slowly came and nipped at it. Yeah. Uh huh. Looks like a hen. This one. This one. Nice. Hmm. Sure, he's got a good view. Okay, you just gotta keep on uh, putting it right in front of the face. Yeah, and eventually they'll just come and nip at it. Yeah, yeah, go all go weightless. I had so many that they'll come look at it, but then they'll just uh, go away. And then eventually one will just come and uh, nip at it. Oh, almost. There he goes. Got him. Oh, it spawned out. Oh, yeah. Beautiful hen though. Oh yeah, still clean. 
I think she just might have some swan in her. Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> this is the chartreuse with the pink body woolly bugger that I tied. Oh, yeah, nice. But we got a few hooked up, a lot of foul hooks, a lot of back and tail hooks. I mean, it's you really can't uh, get away from not hooking them, so <laughs> you're gonna hook them no matter what. So, just that it just got oh, rock is tippy. Just gotta make sure that you, know, you release all the fall hook ones and fish ethically and uh, get the active ones to bite. A lot of people say that these fish don't bite, but they just say they, they do bite. You just gotta keep on throwing it around in front of them, and eventually they'll just come and take take the fly. Another one on the tail. <laughs> Sometimes when you foul hooked one, you don't want to put tension on it. Sometimes it'll just pop right off. Oh no, this one actually bit. <laughs> oh, I came up for it? I thought this one was all hooked, but it's actually... It actually came and bit. Oh, really? Yeah, my brother just had one that just came up for it for his uh for his lure. Let me turn the camera down, make sure you guys can see. Oh, it's a nice hen too. Nice hen. Yeah, this one's still pretty fresh. Oh nice. Wow, yeah, this one's still considered a chromer because it's still pretty fresh. Oh, yeah, a little careful. So, you guys, you can tell a bite because I uh, see it's all the way in its mouth the way it is. Look at that. Wow. So, when people say that they don't bite, yes, they do, they do bite. Beautiful hen right here. Just watch them fight a little bit. I'm gonna grab the net real quick too, guys. Oh yeah. Look at this, guys. Nice. Guys, if you guys never experienced Chinook fishing, especially in the streams, it's a lot of fun. But I know all the Lake Michigan tributary rivers are all full of, uh, they're all full of salmon right now. There's a lot of kings, uh, cohos are starting to come in right now. Once we get more rain, more, more cohos are going to be in. Right now, more of the cohos are right at the marinas, right at the uh, mouth of the lake fronts, the mouth of the rivers. And we're basically just using 12 to 15 pound line, longer rods. You do have a lot of smaller Chinook salmon in here too. I think there's those are called Jake's. Oh, that's a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. Uh, got him. Ooh, that's a big boy. <laughs> oh, it's heavy too. Probably. I'll grab the net real quick. 
definitely a little older fish, but it'll still do. <laughs> yeah, these these teeth are really sharp, guys. <laughs> Look how sharp these teeth are. So you got the nice keg forming. But look at those teeth. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> looks like uh oh. looks like a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at it. Alright my brother just got another one on. He took his uh marabou jig again. So we got another buck. There he goes. Yeah, another one on, guys. This one bit the purple tail holy bugger. <laughs> so my brother's got one that's hooked on the on the fin and then I got this one this one uh, took my purple tail woolly bugger Nice big hen. You just feel all the power of these fish. These fish are so powerful. Since my brother's still fighting one, I'm just gonna slowly tire this one out. Oh, that bit my hook again. Yeah, I bit my hook again. Darn. Sucks. Something wrong with my reel. I think this reel broke on me or something. Yeah. I try not to fight it too hard so I don't bend the hook again. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like another nice buck. Oh, the real one is to work again. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Come this way, buddy. Come this way. The guy's battery died on that one, but we did get it in, and uh, yeah, my hands are well, it was bleeding. That's from the Chinook salmon's mouth. They do get real sharp teeth, so you gotta be very be careful when handling them. But now there's more anglers out. The fish are a little bit more finickier now. Before they would still kind of chase, but right now they're just kind of, they're not even looking, really looking at the bait right anymore.
Oh, this one just took it. Spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. This one just took it. Yep. All right, I'll try to get it in. My brother's got one hooked up over there too, so I'm by myself right now. It's a nice buck that took my fly. Right now, this is how I'm leveraging. This is how I'm leveraging the fly rod right now, just like this. Yep. I was just telling them. I was, I was just telling the viewer how the fish are a little finickier now. And they're not biting it, then also on this one just slams it. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Good net. Good netting. Oh, and this one, this one just took it. <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes. Sometimes when you don't pay attention, that's when they bite. I bent my hook. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, my brother just got one on. This was a feisty one. Ooh, look at that. Feisty, feisty. Oh, I could have done it right there. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I got him. Nice. Good job. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, it looks like it. it looks like it, it wrapped itself around my line. Oh. Oh, she got herself wrapped now. There he goes. She came loose. That's okay. Mm hmm Yeah, she's all wrapped up. There she goes. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get you on hook. There she goes. Thanks for the good fight. <laughs> I'm keeping them too, so yeah. yeah. But they gotta be hooked in the mouth, so yeah. Let's yeah, see. Let's see if I catch another one in the mouth. Yeah, you can have it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the guy wanted the fish, but it's a illegally hooked fish. Not worth losing your license over, you know. Urban Adventures. Hopefully you guys like this episode. It was a lot of fun. First time in this area, even though uh, this is my old uh, home home stomping grounds. But this is my first time at this spot right here. So that means that there's a lot of spots to explore. But uh, yeah, it took us four and a half hours to finally get our limits. And uh, these are going to go to good use. So we're going to keep some skeins and some spawns for some of these females. And then a lot of these fish are going to be donated to families that, that, that want some. So but yeah, we had a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of people here. The fish were biting real good. 
in the morning, but then all of a sudden you start seeing all these people come and uh, they start being becoming more finicky. So, so they were being very, very selective on what they want to bite. So, so our presentation, you pretty much just got to get right in front of them and just got to pay attention to them. A lot of times they'll just come look at it and they'll just scoot away, but sometimes they'll just come kind of nip at it, or some of them, they'll just come and, and, and hail your fly. So just got to give a lot of patience and everything. But yeah, I'm out here with my brother right here. So, so let me show you our cooler right here. So we got our 10 fish limit right here. So yeah, these fish can go to good use, go to some families that needs them. These fish, uh, when they spawn, they die. So, but if you catch any still heads, then uh, yeah, those are definitely getting released. But, anyways, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. And as always, follow your dreams, follow your passion, make it happen, guys. See you guys on the next video.